It's Friday. Can you believe it? That means it's Friday's House of Games, our final for this week. We've got four famous faces all week. They've been fighting each other, not literally fighting each other, quizzing against each other. But one of them knows that at the end of today's show, they're going to walk away with this trophy right here. And no spoilers, but one of our contestants has come as a Roman emperor today. <laughs> Can you spot who it is? Our players are Stephen Bailey. Hello. <laughs> Christelle Pereira. Hello. Amanda Lamb. Hello. And Nick Moran. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Stephen. Yes, Richard. <laughs> That's a, that's a strong look, isn't it? I just thought it's Friday. Yes. Obviously, you're going to take us out afterwards. Of course. Um, so I thought I'd dress, like, neck down, ready for the club. Yes. And head up like a winner, because Lisa Vanderpump, who you know from The Real Housewives of oh, Beverly Hills, I? she's <laughs> always got a crown on. Yes. OK? And, you know, she's kind of the leader of the pack before she left the show. Yeah. And I feel like perhaps the you crown... You could be the Lisa Vanderpump. Of exactly. House of Games. I could leave the band pump these like out of the way. Oh gosh. Where did you yeah. think we were going? The Coliseum. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, Is that listen, not where you're flying the, us to, uh, Richard? The Glasgow Coliseum. <laughs> we are gonna have a great time. Uh, Christelle. Yes. Now, second place yesterday. Do you know what? I feel like over this week I've really been on a journey. Yes. And I've grown as a person and I've I feel great. Yeah, yeah. In, in exactly the same way that Stephen has regressed. <laughs> oh, I knew it was going to come up. Oh, I no. I know. I just um, did better on a Monday. Yeah, you did very well. You're our champion on a Monday. Yeah. Uh, you could well be our champion on a Friday, but you're second last time, so perhaps a win this time. But sitting next to you, there's a winner, Amanda That's Lamb. It. I know. Three days in a row. I keep thinking I'm in some weird parallel universe and I'm going to wake up and I'm going to be in my kitchen watching this going, oh, I yeah. dreamt I was on it and I'll I won. What, a this, few... is, this isn't helping. No, it's really not. <laughs> I think, I think he's trying to undermine me. I, I'm not even going to look in that yeah, direction yeah. anymore. Yes. Look. I'm going to throw you off. Oh. No, you, do yeah. you know what? I think you, you know are what? succeeding. The last thing Stephen wants is anyone looking at him. That's I hate not, it. I that's, it so oh my god! No thanks. Make Worst it quite job twitchy. for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Amanda, let's take a look at the leaderboard though. It's double points Friday. Double points. So Friday. there's eight points for a winner, six for second, and so on. You have a four-point lead at the moment. Yeah. Not impossible for you to lose, but you have to be the favourite after three wins. Christelle and Stephen battling for bronze there as well. Oh, uh, Nick <laughs> Moran, mm. keep coming second, second, second. Mr Consistency, yeah, second yeah. there. A win today would be very, very handy. It'd be eight points. It would. It's double points. It's a game of two halves. You know, it's, got it. it's, it's not think, over till the whistle blows. It's not I over. think you would rather there was more straight general knowledge and less mucking around. Uh, yeah, exactly. This monkey business about strange pop bands I've never heard of, you know. And, uh... He still hasn't got over busted, yeah, has he? Yeah. No. Oh. Yeah. No. You've got to, honestly, let it Walk go. Away. Let them fly Today's away. Today's the day. Yeah, today is the day. It was a good day to have a good day. If you are to win today as well, of course, there are prizes. Which of these do you fancy? The umbrella, the tote bag, the Russian dolls, the pasta maker, oh. uh, and the wheelie luggage. What do you fancy? Absolutely, definitely the pasta maker. Lovely pasta maker, Amanda. Luggage or the brolly. Oh, um, mm. It's a toss-up, really, because I'd probably get more use out of the umbrella. Let's find out at the end of the show. Let's see how we go. Um, Christelle, what do you think? Pasta maker. I do have one, but my pasta maker doesn't have the attachment to make spaghetti. You can use them for baking as well, I presume, a pasta maker. Um, yeah, you can use it to roll out fondant. Yeah, yeah top tip. Yeah. It's a fondant maker. Yeah. And um, Claudius, what would you go for? <laughs> um, I would like the trophy. Oh. Oh, all right. <laughs> you, you're oh, unnerving us. I would like the luggage so I could always take you on holiday. With oh, you. that's oh, a lovely nice. thought. Yeah. Thank you, Stephen. Listen, been a lovely week's quizzing. Should we do one more? Yeah. OK. okay. Final of this week's House it's of Games. Our first <gasps> round is... The answers in the question are going to go along the line, ask you each a question. Uh, there will be some capital letters in that question, and the answer will be an anagram of that. Got okay. it. Okay. Wow. Um, your first category is TV presenters. So, Stephen. Yes. Here is yours. While some presenters would say no, killer early starts aren't a problem for this breakfast TV legend. So, the answer is an anagram of no killer early. OK, so if it's an anagram of that, it's not Philip R. Holly, because there's none of those letters. I say pre-Philip and Holly. Pre Post-breakfast. <gasps> Lorraine <gasps> Kelly. <gasps> Lorraine Kelly. Oh, my gosh! Well played, oh. Lorraine Kelly. Nicely done. Oh, that's so good. 
we've still a television presenter for you. Oh, dear. Hidden in the capital letters here. This lady sets the bar very high on Saturday nights as one half of the Strictly presenting team. Oh. Tess Daly. Tess Daly. It is Tess Daly. Well done. Amanda. Yeah, Amanda, can I have one like presenter. that? <laughs> Let's see. What if you're the answer? Oh, yeah. Ooh. If you ask armchair critics what they think of this sports broadcaster, oh. some may jokingly reply, I don't know, Jeff. Oh, gosh. It's sports is the worst thing that I could possibly have Yeah, you'll know got. this guy. He does lots of other stuff as well. There's lots of kind of... Oh. ..popping up on things. Chris... Chris Kamara. Chris Kamara! Chris Kamara. Oh, Before that oh. took a while. We got there. We got <laughs> Chris Kamara. Well played. Sorry. <laughs> Nick for four out of four. Who is this television presenter, please? If you think this duo must have won eight or uh. nine National Television Awards, you can add ten to that tally at least. Well, it's one of... <laughs> I think it's, yeah, I think it's both, isn't it? I think it's Ant and Deck. Ant and Deck, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, yes. you're well done. Nick, yeah. Ant and Deck. Well, I like that one. It feels like Monday again. <laughs> we go... Oh, <laughs> Luring us Monday. in. I loved Monday. <laughs> we are back to you, Stephen. Oh, no. OK, but oh, this no. time your category is... James Bond films. I the title of James Bond good. films. When this film's villain tries to cheat Bond but loses, he sees red. Golfing was supposed to be his opportunity for revenge. Goldfinger. Goldfinger. Oh, well done. It's the crown. <laughs> it's the crown. It's the crown and the easy question. It's a, <laughs> no, it's a it's combination not that of the two, Richard. isn't it? A lovely difficult. combination of the two. Yeah, thank you. Christelle. Oh, I hope mine's not hard. A Bond film. This tale has provided thrills for readers and for movie fans alike, not to mention the Shirley Bassey theme song. Oh, gosh. Okay, it's not. Oh, these are very well written, these questions. Shirley Bassey, James Bond. I know. Should we time you out, Christelle? Yeah. Time you out. We've got a buzzer race on our hands between Nick and Stephen. Stephen wins it. Oh, did I get it? Um, diamonds are forever. Diamonds oh! are forever. Oh! Absolutely. <laughs> diamonds are forever. That's good. Readers and for movie. Uh, Amanda. Yes. A Bond film for you. The baddie in Roger Moore's first outing is very tall indeed, I've noticed. Live and let die. Live and let die. Well played, Amanda. Live and let die. And Nick, Bond movie for you. From the first glimpse of Emilio Largo in this Connery film, you'll just know he'll turn bad. Thunderball. Thunderball. Wow. Well played. It is Thunderball. Nicely done. Yeah. That is the end of that round. Let's see our first scoreboard of our final this week's House of Games. Christelle, you have one. Amanda and Nick, two points each. Look at the, the crown. The crown is doing it. He's in the lead again, Stephen Bailey. Well Giving me anxiety. we play our final pairs game of the week. It is going to be... <laughs> you complete me, Christelle. You had the final honour of choosing your partner in this round. I'm going to pick Steven. Yeah, come on. Got to be. <laughs> yes. There's a man sitting there with a crown. But, <laughs> but you're not going to choose him. I'm going to give you this crown. I'm, I'm in total... I can't, I can't accept it. The uh, BBC rules. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's annoying. <laughs> uh. Now, in this round, uh, I'm going to read you out a series of questions. Fingers on buzzers, everyone. Every answer is two words. If you buzz in, you just give me the first word of the answer, please. And your partner has to give the second word of the answer. Here's your first question. What's the first word of this answer? At the 2012 Olympics, Horse Guards Parade was the venue for which sport played on a sand court? Yes, Nick. Beach. Beach is correct. Amanda for the point. Volleyball. Beach volleyball. Point to Amanda and Nick. Well played. Beach volleyball. Next question. In human resources, what do the initials CV stand for? Yes, Stephen. Curriculum. Curriculum is the right answer. Christelle? Vitae. Vitae? Yeah, I'll give you that. Vitae. Curriculum Vitae CV. Next one. Who succeeded Anthony Eden as Prime Minister in 1957? Nick. 
Winston. Winston is incorrect, I'm afraid. You preceded him, but who succeeded him? Literally. I don't know. Uh, oh. It is Harold Macmillan. Ah, oh, of course, of course, oh, I'm God. sorry. Harold no Macmillan. Worries. Oh, yeah, that one. Um, next question. What is the title, first word only, please, of this song? Christelle. Bang. Bang is correct, Stephen. Bang. Bang, bang. Absolutely yeah! right. Bang, bang. <laughs> well played, Jesse J, Ariana Grande. <laughs> Next question. Neil Armstrong became the first person to walk on the moon on which NASA space mission? Oh, Nick. Why would you do Apollo. that? Apollo. <laughs> exactly, Apollo is right, Amanda. Oh, I didn't think this through, did I? No, you really <laughs> didn't. You should have let me do the Apollo one. Apollo oh, sorry. 12? Is it Apollo 12? No. It is not. Is it, you want to have a guess fault. on this team if you buzz in? Christelle. 11? 11? It's the right answer. Oh, wow. Next question. What's the first word of this answer, please? Which comedian began hosting US talk show The Tonight Show in 2014? It's after. No, it wasn't that. Yes, Stephen. Is it Jimmy? Jimmy is correct, Christelle. Oh, oh no, I know. I'm putting I it in your head. I'm putting it in your head. It's not. It's not the one I'm thinking of, is it? Well, well it's almost impossible for us to tell, Christelle. Ah! I don't think it's the one you're thinking of. I think it's the other I'm, one. I know, and I don't know what the other one is. And I know it's got. I'm sure it's got two syllables in it. Oh, this is so. Should annoying. we time you out, Christelle? Yeah. Okay, we'll time you out. It looks like Sorry, uh, we're going to this on the other right. team. Nick. Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy That's Fallon. The one. That's the one. Jimmy That's Fallon's the right answer. answer. Well That's done. So That's, 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 That's how I was putting oh, you in your head. Sorry. Final question in this round. In which game show presented by Philip Schofield, the contestants attempt to complete challenges in a giant perspex container? Yes, Christelle. The? The is correct, Stephen. Cube. Cube. Well played. Yeah. Nice oh, answer. Oh, good stuff. Well played, everyone, on that round. Oh, you no. good team. The Emperor himself having another good round. <laughs> Let's take a look at the scores, shall we? Amanda, she won three shows in a row, currently tied for third with Nick on four points. Christelle, you got five. Stephen, hey, the seven. round is working. Well done. Don't jinx about it, guys. I'm trying to be <laughs> modest. We are back to Monday, aren't we? We're back to Don't Monday's say it, champion. Richard. Three rounds to go before we hand out our final prize and we hand out our trophy. Our next round is... <laughs> bowel movement. I'm going to show you a list of things now. Something connects them all. you just got to buzz in and tell me what connects these clues. However, every single vowel in each word has been changed. OK, so you've got to try and work out what these clues are and then what connects them. Right. So here are your clues. The vowels have all been changed into different vowels. Pissen. Brozel. Mukudumiu. Yes, Amanda. Nuts. They nuts? Yeah. They are. Oh. Pican is pecan. Brozel is Brazil. Uh, Mukudemiu is uh, macadamia. And pesosuchu is pistachio. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what connects these, please? Selenal. Ganarol. Mujar. Nick. They're military ranks. Military ranks. Wow. That's exactly what they are. Wow. Southern Al is Colonel, Ganarol is General, Mujar Major, and Lawa Tornant is a Lieutenant. British Army ranks. Well played. What connects these for? Uvol. Actigan. Yes, Christelle. Shapes? Are they shapes? Oh, yeah. They are shapes. Oval Ooh, is oval, yeah. octagon is octagon, oval. A rhombus, rhombus, yes. and the other one is isosceles triangle. I'm going oh. nowhere <laughs> near that. Your next four are these. Slumor. Kispor. Meaning Mertlu. Yes, Christelle. Names of ghosts? Are they names of ghosts? 
They are names of ghosts. Moaning Myrtle. Wow. Yeah, it was Moaning oh, Myrtle and I got Simon. Casper. It's Boris Casper. Yeah. Uh, then Moaning Myrtle, Moaning Myrtle, and Duke of Merle, Jacob Marley. Well played. Ghosts. Next four clues. Divorous. Cybormon. Nick. They are Doctor Who baddies. Doctor Who baddies. That's wow. exactly what they are. Oh, Divorous is Davros. Cybermon, Cybermen. Daleks, Daleks. And the Wupang Ungols are the uh, Weeping Angels. They should have called them the Wupang Ungols. Sounds like a band. Uh, Doctor Who yeah. creatures. Next one. Flu. <laughs> Math. Yes, Christelle. Insects? Are they insects? Yes. Oh, flea. Yeah. Flu is flea. Math is moth. Boo is bee and bitter fly. Butterfly. You've literally found the thing you're best at in the think? whole world. I know. Last, and I hate insects. Even better at this than baking. <laughs> Uh, final question Shocking. in this round. What connects these? Epal. Tapez. Amanda. Gems. Are they gems? Mm, good one. They are. Epal is opal, tapez is topaz, sapphire, sapphire, and umathist, amethyst. Well done, everyone. It's a high scoring round. Oh. This one's a high scoring day. Let's take a look at our leaderboards after three rounds of our final show. And it couldn't oh get much closer. Oh, you know what? Can we just I take a screenshot of this? Because I can just Chris. take this home. There we go. I was leading at one I'm point in the House of Games. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> Amanda and Nick, six points each. Stephen, you got seven. Christelle is our leader. Wow. Eight points. Love that for you. That's great. Maybe the crown is not working for you. Maybe it's working for Christelle. <laughs> That's Maybe it's just I did being that. near the crown. Yeah, yeah, you gave me your... Oh, the moment you did that. Yeah, yeah you haven't got another I gave point. over the power. Yeah. Oh, Maybe we should touch you the crown. Why don't you try and drag it back? No, don't do that. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Two rounds to go. Two rounds before we find our champion. Who is it going to be? It's all up for grabs, I'll say that. Round four today is... And the answer isn't. In this round, I'm going to ask you each a question. There will be four possible answers. One is correct. The other three were written by your opponents before the show to try and fool you. Are you going to score a point or give away a point to one of your opponents? If you choose their answer, you'll give them a point. Stephen, here's your question. Yeah. Every point absolutely crucial now. Not primarily known for music. Who released a dance track called Don't Doubt Your Vibe in 2020? Was it... Wagner? Kim Kardashian? Mr Tumble? Or Elon Musk? Good fake answers, everyone. So one of those is real. One was written by Christelle, one by Amanda, one by Nick. You want to get the real one for a point. I think it's Kim Kardashian, but now I don't know if it's a trick. But I am going to go with Kim Kardashian. You're going to go with Kim Kardashian? Please. OK, have you scored a point or have you given a point away? Is the answer Kim Kardashian? You've given ah. a point away. Correct answer was... Elon Musk? No! no. Yeah. What? Don't doubt your vibe. Uh, so, who wrote Kim Kardashian? Who's just scored themselves a point? Was it you? Christelle has scored no. herself a point. Wow. The crown continues its magic. OK, give me the power back. <laughs> Wagner was Nick and Mr Tumble was Amanda. Christelle, <sighs> right. you now have a question. You're going to have four possible answers to it. What is the title of Stephen Fry's 2021 fashion-themed book? Four possible answers. One is correct, the other three were written by Stephen, Amanda and Nick. Was his fashion-themed book called... I'm not jealous of Hugh Laurie? <laughs> Stephen Slacks? Fry's Ties? Or was it called... The Devil Wears Tweed? Oh, interesting. Mm. What do we think at home on that one? Which of those would you go for? So one of those is correct, the other three written by your poker-faced opponents. Mm, I know. I feel like the middle two are too obvious. I feel like mm. that's a very kind of... That's a name that someone would make up. So I'm going to go with one or four. I think maybe for copyright reasons, he couldn't go with The Devil Wears Tweed. So maybe it's number one. I like it when an answer comes down to copyright. <laughs> So you're going with I'm not jealous of Hugh Laurie. Do you agree at home? Do you disagree? Let's find out. Christelle, have you scored yourself a point or have you given a point away? Is that the correct answer? Oh, no! Incorrect. What was the correct answer? 
Fry's tie. No way! All of that is tie. So, Chris, you don't get a point. You've given away a point. Who have you given a point to? I would have put every penny I own, Nick, on that B&U. Genuinely just scribbled it down as a joke. Yeah. I had no intention of, of nicking a point, I think. That had Nick Moran just an all idea to... Oh. Scored yourself a point. Well done, Nick. I don't deserve it. Nicely done, the <laughs> air. Yeah, I'm do. sorry. I'm sorry, Mr Fry. It was just a it's little gag. It's a good gag. title for a book, though. I like yeah. it. <laughs> Stephen Slacks was Stephen and Amanda wrote The Devil Wears Tweed. Mm. Devil Wears Tweed. And, Amanda, it's now your question. OK. What was adopted as the official state sport of Maryland in oh. 1962? See, some of them you just know the answer to. Yeah. Um, was it... Jousting? Baseball? Making cookies? Or rowing? So one of those is correct, the other three written by your opponents. What's your first well, the, reaction? The obvious choice would be baseball, wouldn't it? But I'm thinking yeah. that's probably too obvious. Making cookies, you can't have that as a sport, cookie making. <laughs> I guess, I mean, yeah, they can't, they can't make baking into a competitive format, can they? <laughs> No, <laughs> that'll never catch no, on. Be, awful. Who wants crazy. to watch that? Who that would is watch such that? an awful concept. Yeah, that'll never catch on. <laughs> um, it's between rowing and jousting, and I remember when I was filming in America, there was an awful lot of those kind of jousting tournaments that you could go to and... Oh, they'd had, like, big feasts and Big stuff feasts and, and yeah. things. But is it really a state sport? Um, I'm going to go jousting. Have you won a point? Have you given a point away? What do you think at home? Agree, disagree with Amanda? Let's find out. Is the answer jousting? It is ah! jousting. Well done. Well done. Baseball was... Christelle making cookies. <laughs> Nick. Nick. <laughs> Move. And rowing was Stephen. Nick, your question. Every point absolutely crucial at the moment. The leaderboard is incredibly close. What was unusual about the 2021 winner of New Zealand's Bird of the Year competition, an annual poll run by the conservation organisation Forest and Bird? Was it... It had one foot? It was a bat? It couldn't fly, or it was stuffed. I mean, there's a, there's a lot to think about there, isn't it? I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, let's I mean, you kind of wish it wasn't such a crucial point, but uh, that's where we find ourselves. Okay, it's New, Ze New Zealand. I'm going to say it couldn't fly. I'm going to say it couldn't. It fly. couldn't fly. Have you won a point? Have you given a point away? What do you think at home? What would you go for here? Let's find out, shall we? Has Nick Moran won a point with It Couldn't Fly? No. The correct answer was... It was a bat. Gosh. Every bat has its day. So, you've given a point away to whoever said It Couldn't Fly. At every point, absolutely crucial at the moment. Who has this one gone to? Amanda oh. gets the point. All the people. Amanda gets the point. It had one foot was Christelle, and it was, it was stuffed. Tough. I would have gone for that. That's what I would have gone for. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, that was, was a good Steven. one. That's a good answer. It's the end of the round. It's the wow. end wow. of the round. We only have one more round to go, one more oh. round, before we find our champion. Who is it going to be? Should we take a little look at our final leaderboard? Oh, that... I'm going to go on record as saying it is quite close. Oh, tension. Steven oh, no. and Nick, seven points each. Amanda with eight, Christelle with nine. <laughs> Two <laughs> points. No, I don't think we'll still be in the league. Everybody. Is Amanda going to get her fourth win? Is Stephen going to get his second win? <laughs> Are Nick or Christelle going to get their first wins? Only one way to find out, and that's play our final round, which is... Answer smash. Fingers on buzzers for the final time, everybody. Smash. Very best of luck. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. Here we go, then. Who is going to be our champion on this week's House of Games? Your first category is... Footwear. Here's your first clue and your first picture. What is the Italian word for wasp, which is also the name of a brand of motor scooter? Nick. Vespa drills. Vespa drill. Well done. That's the right answer. Well done, Vespa and Espadrill. Well played, Nick. Next clue, next picture. 
Which British tennis player won the Wimbledon Ladies Singles Championship in 1977? Amanda. Virginia Waders. Oh. Virginia Waders? You've got to be so right, far. Virginia Wade and Waders. Virginia Waders. Ah. Next clue, next footwear. Which symbol representing the word and appears above the number seven on the standard UK keyboard? Nick. Amper sandals. Amper sandals? Oh, wow. The right answer. Wow. That's good. Yeah. Next category. Furniture. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Furniture of the pictures. Here's your clue, here's your picture. Red Dragon is the third film to star Anthony Hopkins as which notorious character? Yes, Amanda. Hannibal Lecturn. Hannibal Lecturn. Ah, oh, nice. Well done. Hannibal Lecturn, Lecturn, Hannibal Lecturn. Let's clue your next picture. On the Channel 4 game show Countdown, in which round do contestants try to solve a nine letter anagram? Order. Umbrella. Amanda. Conundrum Brella Stand. Conundrum Umbrella Stand? Oh. Oh, you've got to hand it to a Conundrum Give it the Umbrella right Stand. <laughs> Conundrum Umbrella Stand. Is there another category? There is. Authors. Oh, no. Those will be the pictures. There'll be clues above them. Which pair of nursery rhyme characters make an ill-fated journey up a hill in search of a pail of water? That is Amanda. Jack and Jilly Cooper. Jack and Jilly Cooper. Very good. Well played. It is Jack and Jill, Jilly Cooper, Jack and Jilly Cooper. Next clue, next author. Oh, no. Well, listen. <laughs> a lot of fun today. A lot of different leaders, a lot of points. But class outs, doesn't it? Beautifully played, Amanda. Let's take a look at who's won Friday's House of Games. It might just give us a little clue to who our champion is. It is Amanda Lamb by three points. Very well played. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful well round Thank of you. answer smash there. Amanda, you've won yourself another prize. Which of these would you like your fourth win of the week? I'm going to go suitcase, I think. You're going to go suitcase. Yeah. You need to for all your other prizes. What? <laughs> Amanda Lamb takes home the House of Games suitcase. Is she taking home something else as well? I rather suspect she is. <laughs> <laughs> After a very strong early start by Stephen Bailey uh, on Monday with a win. A day and ago. even though he's wearing a crown today, our champion on this week's House of Games. Four wins out of five, including double points Friday. Amanda Lamb. Well played, Amanda. Oh, Congratulations. Good stuff. Thank you. The trophy is yours. Very wow. well done. And Christelle, you beat Stephen as well. Yeah, I know. I know Sorry, Stephen. I don't Stephen. know how I completely lost. <laughs> <laughs> I won a day. I completely... If anyone joined this week late, they'll be going, Stephen, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, honestly, watch Monday. He's still... yeah. Yeah. Yes, Monday. Watch the repeat. It was terrific. <laughs> And Nick, you've been second all week. Four seconds. What can you do? Second yeah. all Rise, week. Amanda, brilliant performance. Thank really, you so really much. terrific I stuff. I loved it. Loads of prizes and a trophy. Amanda Lamb, our winner on House of Games. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you all so much. It's been an absolutely terrific week. Really, really enjoyed it. I hope you have <laughs> too. Hope you have as well. And we'll see you next time on the House of Games. Gin and tonics in yeah, that, weren't it? it? Yeah. You could drink your whiskey out of that that you won the other day. <laughs> <laughs>